Canada's west coast is renowned for its beauty, but it's also gained a notoriety to rival Loch Ness as home to a reptile the size of a bus that reportedly frequents the shallow coastal waters in the summer months. We got the binoculars and took a look at this first big one and could see a, a head at the front which looked like a giant sort of snake head and it was pulsing up and down in the water. Well, out of the water came what appeared to be two large tractor tires. Um, there was a vertical crest, quite vivid, and it had some very large scales, about at least about as big as my hand. We feel the evidence is sufficient that it uh, merits scientific recognition. Animal X went to the waters around Vancouver Island in search of the Cadborosaurus, a sea monster named after its favorite haunt, Cadbora Bay. Rock carvings by Native Americans are the earliest indications that a mysterious serpentine creature inhabited the local waters centuries ago, long before the arrival of Europeans. The long body and horse-like head bear no resemblance to any of the well-known marine animals seen in the area today. It does, however, bear a remarkable resemblance to the kind of creature spotted here on more than 200 occasions in the last century, a mysterious sea animal with needle-like teeth, a long scaly body and muscles that ripple when it swims. Ivor Cook was watching Navy frigates exercising in the Strait of Juan de Fuca when a strange series of humps attracted his attention. Whilst I was observing the mounds, this head and a neck rose out of the water about, I would guess, about 18 inches. Uh, the head itself resembled that of a horse's or stunted horse's head. Ivor Cook watched the creature for about a minute as it surfaced and disappeared, then resurfaced before it eventually vanished into the depths. For others, the sighting has been briefer but incredibly dramatic. One local resident was boating with a friend when a strange creature appeared less than 20 feet away. Out of the water came two, what looked like two rotating tractor tires, and about that size. Couldn't see underneath them, just two big humps with a serrated crest on each and very large mitered scales, dark green in colour, and the most startling thing was this ripple of muscle that seemed to be go going along the, the surface of the creature. Five years ago, pilot Don Behrens was on a training flight over Brentwood Bay when he directed his co-pilot to land near an object in the water. When the pair got closer, they realized they weren't heading for a stationary target. It was moving at high speed. There were two humps. Uh sticking out of the water, approximately, I would say, maybe uh, eight inches to, uh, to a foot around. It was moving through the water very, very quickly, probably 20 miles an hour to start with, and then accelerated to approximately 40 miles an hour.